Our next topic is the product rule. And this is another way to find the derivative of a function. So, the derivative of a function times another function is the first term times the derivative of the second term plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. So here's an example, and it might help to label these. This could be f of x, and this could be g of x. For this one, it doesn't matter which one you derive first, but it's good to label them to help you out. So h prime of x, so you bring this down, 3x minus 2x squared multiply it by the derivative of this function. So this becomes zero because it's a constant. And this derivative is four. And then, now you're gonna flip flop. Now you do g of x, which is five plus four x, times the derivative of f of x. So this becomes 3 using the exponent rule, and this is 4x, which you find using the constant multiple rule. Now you need to simplify. So h of x is, h prime of x is 12x minus 8x squared, and you're going to need to foil this, and it comes out to be 15 minus 8x minus 16x squared. Now you can combine like terms. And remember to distribute this positive to these. So you can add 12x to negative 8x. So that comes out to be 4x. Then if you combine negative 8x, negative 16x, it's negative 24x squared. And then there's no light term over here to combine with 15. So it's just 15. And then it might look better if you put it in order of degree. So we have 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. And that's the product rule.